Technetium had a riddle as to why it's so radioactive even though it is so lightweight compared to like uh, silver. Silver's not radioactive and yet technetium's lighter than that and it disappears. And the reason is, I've discovered, as you can see in this diagram, is the nucleus. The uh, four layer of red in the middle of technetium here means the protons and neutrons have a cube of four by four by four. As opposed to iron in this picture, has a cube of three by three by three protons and neutrons. Now, that makes a big difference in the uh, stability. So technetium will uh, decay. And there's also other elements that uh, are similar to that. In the periodic table, there's promethium is right below technetium. And it also has the four layer uh, cube. And that's how I discovered that uh, this was a trend in the periodic table. That uh, if you just take a four by four by four cube and put three layer cubes on it, you end up with exactly the right number of neutrons and protons to make promethium. And that is extremely radioactive compared to other elements next to it like gadolinium, which is not radioactive at all. Now the, the thing is that uh, in the entire periodic table we see that there's mostly three layers of red in each element at the center. The core of each element has a cube of three by three by three, 27 protons and neutrons. Any element that has four layers in the cube is radioactive extremely, and those are uh, technetium, promethium, and also the, also the uh, protactinium and Oganesson have the four layers. Now, we, I also have made some three-dimensional models of this element. And this is called uh, technetium also here on the right. We see uh, the checkerboard pattern of black protons and white neutrons. And the pyramid on one side has a line of protons similar to iron or zirconium. Zirconium's on the top right there. It has two loops of protons in black, but it's non-ferrous because it uh, is not uh, coaxial. And then mer Mercury's on the left here. We could also look at uh, an element that has five layers in, in the cube. And this one is proposed to have some pyramids on each face with four layers. And it has a atomic weight of an atomic number of 123 and a mass number of 305. So uh, we could also look at the way the uh, neon and uranium uh, look compared to the cube four. See, here's the uh, technetium on the uh, right there, and then the much smaller neon on the left has a two-layer cube on it, and it's stable. The cube three is stable, and the cube four is not stable. That solves the riddle of technetium. It's unstable because at the center of the nucleus is a four-layer cube of protons and neutrons.